Move the mouse here and we're back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth. Let's play season seven, episode number 11. And now we are cheating bit by bit. So um, I turned on the unlock all so that we can get to things like Cargo Airport Hub, the International Airport, unlock some more tiles. We still don't have things like unlimited money turned on. So um, again, although it is a bit of a cheat, we're not doing uh, too, too bad. We're still trying to build things relatively organically. We just want to spread out to uh, parts of the map. Let me zoom out. Like one, two, three, four, maybe even five tiles over here to really do the airport build that I'm thinking of. Because this is really spread out over here. There's kind of one road that runs up the seacoast. Big airport structure here. Some industrial space in behind the airport. So we kind of need to buy five tiles just to kind of do that part of the build. Um, eventually, I want to start building Kittery, which is going to be all these tiles up here to the northeast part of the town. And then if I bring my camera around, let me see. Down here, there's also a couple small suburban areas that kind of run off the sides of these highways. And we'll want to get them connected too. But I think today I want to buy some tiles and start in on this airport build. Um, and again, we're going to do this relatively legit. We have 3 million in the bank, so let's see what a couple of these tiles are going to cost. 10,000, that's not too bad. They get more and more expensive. Uh, I should say progressively. So 24,000, so yeah, we spent a fair bit of money there. But what we've unlocked in doing that is a number of things. So we've got highway and rail connections. We've got this beautiful farmland, which Technically, this is going to be all airport, but I kind of painted it so it would look a little different. And then over here, we should have, I believe in this harbor, uh, shipping access. So there's a lot of different things that we can get going here. Um, but I think that one of the biggest things is I want to move this industrial out of here. This is not an efficient exit. Um, I kind of want to get them off on their own over here with the airport. And we do have this diamond interchange that will continue up there, but... Uh, bit by bit, we're going to slowly start working on stuff. And I thought this would be a good place to start today. So let's get a little bit of daylight going. Late morning. A little bit of angle on it, but not too much on the, the shadows there. So let's, let's do something with this. Maybe we can plan out just a couple things over here. So what does it let us drop down... I think International Airport can just go down. Like you don't, you don't have to do anything with it. Um, Road-wise, uh, something like that. So that's the International Airport, and then wrong tab. We want to do something for Cargo Airport Hub. So we have what do we have? The regular airport. We have the Cargo Airport. Uh, international and then the cargo airport hub so let's do a cargo airport hub somewhere this has to be placed by the roadside okay so let's do something like that come back in here and we'll put it on this side right so that we can sneak the uh, the train tracks in Slope is too steep on that side, really. So we'll turn the pressure size up. And we'll smooth this out after the fact. In fact, maybe we could even smooth that out just a little bit. We do have some a little bit of ridging happening there. That should be plenty flat though now. Let's see. Uh, cargo. Yeah, good. Okay. So let's get it relatively centered on this road. It doesn't have to be too perfect. And then we have a, a train yard connection in here. Now it looks like there's two train tracks. I don't know if I've really worked on one of these before. So let's see. Uh, oh, I need a train station somewhere on map. So cargo train terminal. We'll dump one over here for now. Worst case, we can run some goods back and forth. It's kind of weird that, that dropping this in doesn't give you, I don't know, 
I, w I would think that would give you uh okay so it's two tracks that that get merged in okay that's odd when I do a regular track isn't it just one well, I guess not I guess it is a bi-directional track I don't know why I thought man that was noobish okay so let's try this again Now the only thing here is that these these paths kind of kind of cross, but where are the planes taking off? So the planes are coming in this way and going that way, and then this one's heading this way. So it, I mean, there's a little bit less overlap, but planes taking off this way as a plane's coming in this way. I don't know. I think if we're going for ultra realism, I might try and line these up a little bit different. And we can always move them down the road, but let's let's start with where we're at. I think it's okay. And then we'll provide a nice long bypass route. So that if you're not stopping at the cargo station, you can just drive right by. But if you are, obviously you can turn off. And then what do we do over here? So let's get this hooked up first. We'll kind of work our way into the zone. And I think we could do highway that comes all the way down here. So let's, let's see what we can do. Um, if we come into intersections, I know that's kind of curved the opposite way. Yeah, I don't like it. That's an expensive mistake. Let's get that out of there. Let's try again. Uh, what else do we have for T's? Because we kind of need some kind of T there. Maybe we just do a plain... Plain Jane Trumpet? I mean, it does what we want it to do. Kind of get it lined up like that with the building. So we can do that. And then let's get this highway connected. So... We'll bring in our traditional highway on the freeform tool. Just soften up that bend a little bit and then we'll come back through here. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we will reverse it and we can come tighten up the lines a little bit if we want. So that's totally fine to be a fix it later project because we're not really getting in anything's way over here. But if we wanted to fix these a little bit, we can come in here and move it. Drag a couple of these nodes around, just tighten up the space between the highways a little bit. Probably bring this one down a little. And that's okay for now. Let's not worry about that. That'll be kind of little detailed things that we focus on after the uh, after the main part of the build is done. So we'll do something like that with two lane highways. And I, I love to do this. It, it This is a two way road up here. 
on the airport itself. But if you only have traffic coming in this way and exiting that way, it basically becomes effectively kind of a, a one lane road. That's a one way, one lane road, but it keeps the flow going through here. So that way we have people getting off both directions. What I will do is I'll upgrade this segment or I should say downgrade this segment. I think that's okay because you have two lanes becoming two lanes. They do have to crunch down when they get to the actual airport road. But that's okay. Uh, now, I guess on the off chance that you needed to stay in the zone. What can we do here? Can we just do a straight shot one way? From here to here? And that can be for our services. So we'll drop a little fire station. We'll drop a little police precinct. And uh, a little garbage, a little recycling plant. Just for garbage service over here. Because they are kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. And again, we'll we'll kind of move these around, maybe to the back of the property, do some service vehicle only access roads using things like, where is it? Vehicle restrictions? Uh-oh. Like, turn it off? There we go, okay. So we could have it so, you know, only garbage and emergency vehicles and trucks can come through, but not taxis, buses, and, and private cars. Um, and they'll be able to, you know, park in behind or maybe off here to the side of the airport. And, uh, and we'll clean that up a little bit. Now for this one, we should kind of bring the highway in, I think. And then have it come back out. If that makes sense. So. Three lane highway. Again, we'll freeform. We'll come out just a little bit because we want to leave some room to come around the train tracks. We'll come out to there. Like so. So that basically achieves the same thing. We've got the highway traffic coming into the zone, hitting the cargo airport, and then coming back out. Uh, let's see. And of course, that has train tracks that are connected to the outside routes. They aren't yet connected to things like this train station. But honestly, I think we're just going to have a private drive in behind here for the industrial area at some point. Maybe not in today's episode, but we'll see. So we should probably kind of do the same thing down here. So we will, in case somebody needs to come back, and specifically it's going to be emergency vehicles. Provide a little exit like that, and then we'll do... A little fire, a little police, and a dump. Eventually we'll do some better service routes out here. But that's good enough for now. Um, and then I think what we can do is start defining some different routes back here. Depending on how busy this is, we could hook this industrial up so that it's coming... Maybe out this way. See, if we hook it in over here and they need to get to the cargo station, that's a little wonky. Let's fix this. It's a little better. Still a little funny right there. 
So if they wanted to come from, say, industrial and get to the cargo station, we could hook them in right over here. This is going to be a pretty popular destination for industrial. We could also hook them up, I guess, on the way in over here. What we don't want to do is we don't want to hook them in anywhere past the cargo station because if they don't have a route to turn around, that's the other thing we we'll want to consider is we don't want necessarily all the truck traffic coming down here and hitting this highway to come down here to this, you know, this or hit the turbine or hit over here. So we would like to come up with kind of a back road little highway bypass that that they can get over to this industrial area now in real life the, the actual airport itself takes up a ton more room but I'm not building a, a custom airport here maybe that's something that way down the road we can come back to um, I might have I might have I thought I had uh, airport roads and I might have this unlocked I don't know do you have a couple custom air traffic control towers I believe this one is what San Francisco yeah where can we where can we put this in um, must be placed by roadside okay That seems kind of silly. Okay, let's let's move it. And they're going to complain. Can we upgrade our existing tower? <laughs> That's super wonky. Uh, okay, let's get that out of there. Can we put it behind? Does that make a little more sense? We kind of merge it right into the building almost. I don't know. I guess it's fine without it. It doesn't add that much height to it. I thought it was going to add more height. Let's get rid of it for now. We can always come back to it. If we do a really custom airport, we'll do, you know, kind of our own runways and pathways everywhere. Make it look a little bit more the part. It's not the biggest airport. It was a... Uh, Air Force Base at one point in the past, and now it is officially an international airport at Pease uh, Trade Port. So you, you can get flights that land there. It's not really popular, as you would imagine, in an area with the biggest town being about 20,000 people. Probably not going to have a really large airport, but it does have some serious runways and hangars and things like that. So at some point in the future, we'll, we'll upgrade that. Um... I think what we want to do is claim some space here for some industrial. So. Let's kind of pick a line and stick with it. And this will define a bit of our area. So we'll just do that to start. I did not mean to do that with one ways, but we probably would have upgraded to them eventually anyways. So how are we going to get traffic in to the zone we could do another exit over here we could fix this move this down here that would help a lot just moving it down and also not having a diamond because it's technically a t-intersection um, by function right because traffic's only heading that way but it's using a really inefficient diamond to get there so i think to do that we're gonna have to buy one more tile today Let's buy that one. Map's getting big fast. Um, so maybe let's do this. Let's let's get this disconnected. Because like I said, this is like one of our first... It might have been our very first Fix It Later project. But it was just in the interest of getting something in there really quick and simple. Well, let's just delete a bunch here. How are we doing money-wise? 2.1 million. So we've spent about a million. But that is not... Not that bad in the grand scheme of things. Will that kind of... Where is it? Will this one kind of fit here? Yeah, it kind of... Kind of works. Shift our highway around just a little bit. 
Just because this one's a little bit more flowy. Looks a little nicer. We'll just break a bunch on this side so that we've got plenty of room to tuck it in and make it flow a little bit more naturally with with what's there. Oh, that is upgrade. Come on. I, I'm sure I clicked that. That works. And then let's do the same thing over here. We'll delete a couple more segments. That should work. And now we've got a decent uh, a decent highway exit for our industrial area. You know, we're going to we're going to move all this slowly down this way. So let's figure out where we're moving it to. We do have some industrial demand. So maybe we can start using that. Um, we want the traffic coming into the zone, right? Is that a one way road heading that way? I believe. Yeah, perfect. So again, we'll do, I like this. I know it's not necessarily making things more efficient. It just makes more sense. So if you've got two lanes, two individual lanes coming into two lanes, we're, we're good. Do that one too. Um, back to roads. Let's actually do this for the look. Two lane, one way, small industrial road. So let's upgrade this. And just get a look at this kind of down here from ground level, right? It's, it's cheaper. It's dirtier. It's got the little pylons on the side. You know, it's just got a different look. And I think it, it fits the industrial space much better. So we're not coming down this far, but just in case. We'll just upgrade it now. And then, back to highways. And let's bring this down. Like that. I'm going to leave that for now. But we might, we'll probably tighten that up just a little bit. Maybe bend out a little less. So it doesn't have to bend back so much. Alright, so now let's figure out what we want to do here is back to our industrial roads. This is going to be the wrong direction. But I think what we can do here so this will be the traffic coming back. So say it wants to come back into the zone, we could do that. Um... And what we could do is something like this. So lane connector wise. We could force these cars coming back into the zone to go there. And the ones arriving in the zone to go to the outside lane. And then they can switch anywhere else they want down the, down the path. And then we'll also have obviously an optional route for them to exit this way. But because of that, because of that little lane shift happening here. I don't want to zone businesses kind of on this first area. So I'm going to have a little bit of a dead block here. And maybe we could do something like, you know, the statue of industry or something like that over this way. So I'm going to leave two nodes open one come to the second node. And this is where we can start feeding traffic into the zone. So there's plenty of ways for people to get around. And let's see if we're not going to zone this first block. So one, two, I think five, maybe. So three. Ooh, funny, funny kind of nodes there. Let's see. 
Let's see what I'm doing for spacing here. So, this is 750. 720. <laughs> really? All right, just to keep it uniform. So I'm gonna go one more click out. Right there. I think. Yep. So 750 right there. Let's do that. So empty one, two, three, four. Okay, last last one. Seriously, come on. Well, let me well, let me click where I want to click. That should be seven fifty right there, right? One click past the seven twenty. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Sorry, that was. It took a lot longer than it needed to. And then, once you're in the zone, we want you to come back out. So this can funnel traffic all the way down. This funnels traffic into. And then every other street is about delivering the traffic back through. I think, right? Does that make sense? It's a little different than I've done it in the past. Um... I think that will work. I think that will will provide a decent traffic flow in here for a lot of the heavy industrial stuff. We'll we'll test it out. So let's come up with an exit out of here. So if we're not zoning this last block, right? And if we're basically telling all the traffic to kind of shift over and, and come over here anyways. Let's do an exit. Something like that. So that'll feed traffic out of the zone. Well, we'll again, this is a, this is definitely a fix it later. I want to see how this traffic flow does. So we won't zone out on this outer street. We're not going to zone this first street and we definitely won't zone there. But I think everything else is fine. We can bring this down more if we want. We obviously have a ton of room over here. And I think what I would like to do is, since we've got a little bit of demand, we start clearing this up. Provide a little bit more buffer between where the residents are and where the pollution is. Even though you don't see the pollution thanks to Hide It, we're going to cause a lot of unemployment here. Hopefully it should balance out. Oh, that was the ice cube factory. Okay, well, first building that moves into our new industrial zone is going to be the ice cube factory. I just realized, like, why is this one building historic? All right, we've got to water it. So let's do that. Let's keep an eye out for our first building that moves in over here. Oh, we got a water over there too. I forgot about the uh, the airport. All 
I guess that's all it needs. It didn't complain about not being watered after the fact. We'll do that in case we move anything else in on the property. I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely some room over there. So interesting, we've got trucks coming into the zone. They're getting off the highway to turn around and get back on the highway to come around, it looks like. Because most of the traffic that's exiting the highway is exiting from the top lane, the one that's going right to left in the screen. And they're coming in here, and they're all going that way. So why are they turning around like that? Is it because I rerouted them, strangely? And they don't have a better way to get there? We've got we've got industrial demand. I was really hoping some of those businesses would move back in. Um, three times speed. Cheetah speed. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Move in. What are we doing over here? What's happening? Commercial sectors have really been struggling. How is our traffic over here? Is it kind of balanced out a little bit? So it's a little busy, right? It's a little bit busy through here, as you would expect, but it's not backed up like it was in the last episode. It's also not backing up to the turbine. It is backing up off the highway. But we're definitely doing better. I mean, this is still super heavy, and this is not great. But let's let's pull a Biffa real quick. Um, okay, so we're going to do one of the most important things, which is just to say priority on the roundabout. Uh, give way or yield if you're getting on. So let's do that. All right, is that correct? Yield coming on, yield coming on, coming on, coming on. Okay. So there's that. And then the other one is junction restrictions. That's clear traffic. I don't use this one enough. Uh, this one, junction restrictions. Okay. And the, the real important one here is the car, which basically just says if the, inter the, the game by default, like if the intersection is blocked, like these cars aren't going to go to the outer lane. They're just going to be like, oh, I, I wanted to get to the right lane, so I'm not going to go anywhere. And it just creates this gridlock. So let's turn that on for all intersections. You can do other things like prevent lane changes and prevent uh, U-turns. But hopefully we'll see that, that that gets this flowing well, almost immediately. That's great. Um, we could mess around with some different lane change things. Make the, the exit, the, the right lane exit only. Um, but it's a small roundabout, so we would need to then force people to be able to shift over a lane because if we you know force them into this lane then this lane's exit only then they're going places that they don't want to go and they're going to come into neighborhoods to turn around and it just doesn't make sense so that should get this flowing which should in turn help this out a bit this is just very busy right now and and maybe at some point we'll be able to improve that but but we shall see uh okay which one built first this one built first so Hang on, pause. Uh, can I get out of... Oh, I gotta get out of Traffic Manager. Ice Cube. Factory. Make historical. Did I save that? Oh my god, I didn't. It remembered historical status. Thank goodness. Okay, so that is the Ice Cube Factory now. I think we had a statue over here? A little plaza or something? Plaza with trees, so let's move that. And we'll slap it right next to... Right next to our Ice Cube Factory so it stands out just a little bit. And we've got businesses moving in there, that's great. So I think that's a good spot for us to break for today. We've kind of started in this little project. It'll be a, a fix it later thing, just like so many things, but I wanted to start 
uh, expanding and putting stuff kind of where it's supposed to go. You know, we'll tune it and tweak it and improve it. That's that's what I like to do. Um, I don't want to hesitate putting something in to try and drop it in its perfect spot. I want to frame out some of these ideas and and you know start start building out the map a little more because because we've got a lot of stuff to do still. So um, we'll work on an industrial sector some more. We'll provide some different routes, but that's basically what this area is going to be: is the the airports um, and train terminals and industrial, all the heavy stuff over here. We'll keep expanding up this peninsula on the other side of the highway, and there's a big mall up here. I want to have some fun with that. I've still got some 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 custom big box stores like Macy's, Best Buy, those sorts of things that we'll put into the actual mall itself. Um, and then up in the top right, we've got Kittery. So this is, again, a, a, an entire different township in the state of Maine. And then we've got some little residential areas. So it's, things start to feather off a little bit as you get outside of Portsmouth down here at the bottom of the screen and then we have smaller residential communities that kind of run along these highways we've got shipping and harbor to do there's another shipping harbor over on this side uh, so there's lots of different stuff that we can do still on the map um, but i'm 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 liking it i'm biased though so uh, let me know what you uh what you think what you want to see i saw we had a full facility so let's take care of that before we go with uh, a natural disaster of the not earthquake please of the collapse type so let's collapse that let's hit play let's drop in let's bulldoze and drop in our new cemetery uh, we have crematoriums now I don't think we put any of those in so where do we have cemeteries do we have, we've got three on this side and just one over there really so let's add some of these in Always getting sidetracked. But if I don't do this now, I'm going to forget. And I'm going to realize, like, oh, I didn't, I didn't do that yet. Maybe I should do those. And I'll forget again. So we'll move a couple things out here or there. We want right there? Nice. Chuck it in. And then I think... Um, get this in behind the church, maybe? I think we're going to need another one over here. Do we have a spot for it? Kind of be okay on this on this side. Is that too close to the other one? That is pretty close to that one, I guess. We'll we'll do one to kind of down here at some point. We've got to fix this highway. We've got so much to do. Um, but, you know, we're out of time for today. So, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. Special thanks to all the patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for your support. There is a fundraiser ongoing for Season 7 for Able Gamers. Looks like the tools are back and available in my dashboard, so you'll see those popping up on the uh, Season 7 videos. But click the link if you want to know more and donate what you can if you can. It's a great cause and uh, would really appreciate it. But until the next one, when we'll work on something, we've got so many projects to do. This is Move the Mouse, signing off.